Hi everyone, I've got a favour to ask. Um, I've recently partnered with Act for Peace and I'm taking part in their ration challenge where basically I uh, go out, I get the ingredients that they would put in a regular ration pack and I need to survive off that for a week. And uh, first, first problem I have is that I can't cook, but I will, I will, I will solve that. I will fix that problem. And uh, yeah, the second part, which is where you guys come in, is that I need to raise uh, money for this. I'm not just doing this for fun. I am doing this to raise money and awareness for refugees, and hopefully we can make a change together. Now, um, I do have, I do have. They've sent me a um, a uh, a piece of a. Uh, 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 booklet piece of booklet they've sent me a booklet uh, to basically say what the rules are what the ingredients are and basically that you know it, it also has some recipes which I will be interested to try out and I will document my pro my progress my progress maybe if I was a I was some sort of black bird that would have made sense but anyway so here I have the rules uh, which you guys might be interested to know um, if you're just like all right I've seen enough. Why did I put this in my room? Hello? So I was talking about the rules. If you want to donate, uh, there's a donation link below. But now, I'm going to discuss the rules. So rule number one is that I will not lie about the challenge. Good rule. Rule number two is that I need to obey rule number one. So, basically rule number two is that I will only eat uh, what's on the ration challenge ingredients list for the seven day period and any additional ingredients that I earn from your donations. So let's look at the rewards then, right here. First of all, create a team. I earn 70 grams of milk powder for that, presumably to make milk with, I mean, you might be able to snort it, but that's probably not what it's for. Um, it says here you can make yogurt. But don't you need germ, like bacteria, to make yogurt? Number two, sponsor yourself, which I will do after I've made this video. I get to earn a spice. Uh, it says here that uh, refugees use chicken stock cubes to add flavor, which may well be a good move because a lot of what we got is sort of like beans and grains and lentils, which I'm pretty sure are technically beans, but you know, sort of things that have texture but no flavor so by adding chicken stock it'll be like I'm eating chicken chicken flavored noodles every day of the week which is not too far from the truth of what I currently do I also microwave meat pies reward number three uh, if I raise $200 I get eight count them eight tea bags uh, presumably you can probably use a tea bag multiple times I don't know I'm not experienced in the whole tea thing uh, but Grandad uses multi tea bags, um, possibly because he's old. But I mean, if it works for him, it will work for me. Reward number four: If I raise three hundred dollars, I get a vegetable of my choice. Uh, it says here I get a hundred and seventy grams. So when they say a vegetable, I can't just go out and get the world's biggest um, squash. Are they vegetables? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. I could get a pumpkin. But I couldn't actually get a whole pumpkin because they're big and they weigh more than 107 grams. Dehydrated. Ooh. If I got a dehydrated something, it would weigh less, right? Ooh, sneaky. If I raise $500, I get to add 70 grams of protein. Uh, which, I mean, at the time I, I read that, I thought, awesome, I can get some, like, some, some meat. Yes! But no, what I'll probably get is more beans because they will weigh less so I can have more mass for less weight. Although the calorie count might be lower, because meat has quite a high calorie count, right? Because they, they eat things and they concentrate on it. I'm not a scientist, I'm a game developer. If I raise 700, seven, yes. If I raise $700, I get 50 grams of sugar, uh, presumably for the tea, or, and I got some flour, maybe I could make a cake or something. I don't know how to cook. If I raise $1,000, I get to choose one additional item that costs up to $5, um, which might be, well, I mean, it 
could probably get some like donuts or something because surely by the time I've raised a thousand dollars the challenge is nearly over unless you guys are really fast Other rules uh, are that I will only drink water uh, or tea with the tea bags. Um, I commit my best to raise a minimum of 500 by the 30th of June. Um, so, I mean, that's not... In the grand scheme of things, right, I have 53 subscribers. Uh, many of those are also Facebook friends. But some of them aren't Facebook friends, and I also have my Facebook page. And so I just share this through all those channels. If everyone donates a dollar and shares it to a friend, and that friend donates a dollar and shares it to, uh, is, oh, shares it to two friends, let's be crazy, let's get some multiplication happening. If everyone shares and donates a little bit, then it'll become a big bit, because that's how numbers work. Rule number five, the ration challenge begins on my first meal on Sunday the 19th of June, and ends when I wake up on Sunday the 25th of June. So here lies the problem. I've got a birthday party on the 19th for my grandmother. And she makes the best food. I'm gonna have to go without. I'm gonna have to go. So That'll be interesting. I will, I will have to bring bring my little supply of rice and beans and uh, presumably cook there or something. So now I guess I, uh, I guess I just sign this bad boy. Oh, hang on. That was already clicked out. I click again. Sign this bad boy. Uh, make my first donation uh, when I finish this video. And the challenge begins. I will probably keep like a running vlog kind of thing going on sort of out and about maybe videos of me buying beans or something and uh, that'll be that'll be interesting um, because I will have to learn to cook I will have to learn to cook I mean there's not much else to this challenge really it's just a matter of um, not going for cheeky Macca's runs and uh, Eating rice. Is salt a spice? Before I finish off, I'd just like to remind everybody that the link is in the description, and if you click anywhere on the window right now, unless you're on a mobile phone, because I don't know how to do those yet, there might actually be a card that like comes out and it's like, you click here to donate. But anyway, and click anywhere on the screen right now if you have annotations enabled. Um, alternatively, if you don't, just look in the description. And you can donate to me there. Any amount is a good amount. Any progress is good progress. And we could really improve some people's lives and make change. So, yeah. 